The weird thing is I didn't even know where the goat came from. But with that, welcome back to our Half-Life playthrough. You join me, Ricky, and with me is Aaron. Ah. Sorry, I, was, <laughs> I, I thought it was something different. Do goats, like, do they do just a regular old bar? Or Jesus yeah, they, Christ. They do something like that, like, or something similar like that. Though there obviously is that goat meme that screams. They, they, some of them do just kind of scream. Mm. They'll just be like, <laughs> like it does happen. Okay, my memory is, is that when you shoot these here pulsing techno heart things, mm, all the little, little bugs, bugs come. come. Or is it out of the web there? No, it's out of that thing. Okay, or they just appear in thin air. Okay, we got them that time. Yeah, they now, won't they won't appear in that heavy air, just the thin air. Just the thin air, yeah. It's not like it's a common saying. <laughs> Appe appearing out of out of thin air, yeah. Appearing in thin air, no, not so much. All right, you're one of those. You know well, you what can, I You can't go with it, mate. I just made the funny joke, and then you can't go with the comment saying crap. So I was like, all right, if you want to go there. Funny joke. Well, that's been a bit kind to yourself, I think. <laughs> <laughs> and let's let the viewing audience be the deciding <laughs> Yeah, put a, put a rating. Oh, God. <laughs> Put a put a rating, uh, rate rate the rate the joke what out of five stars? <laughs> yeah, put up <laughs> yeah, like a comments. Doom, 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 doom. <laughs> little face thumbs up for like the joke. <laughs> <laughs> so if we get dislikes on the video, Aaron. It's you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I said put I said put a, a one a, one out of five in the comments as to what the joke was. Oh, I didn't hear that. So, okay, that makes yeah. far more sense. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Now, can you just walk past these things? One to five. I think I just said one out of five. One to five. <laughs> See, this is where like the, the shotguns would like just be like on the better, better weapons for it. But yeah, I think we discussed I think this the last gets, time. Yeah, I don't think the shotgun gets ju um, does justice. Gets done. How, wait, what am I trying to say here? I think that the shotgun is done justice in this game. No, I think the shotgun in this game is absolute trash, if I'm going to be honest. Um, it, like, it just spreads so much, you know what I mean? But you, like, can't even account for spread. Like, look at that. Like, how am I not... Okay, there we go. But, like, it should be just wrecking these things. But video game shotguns. Talked about it before. They're all over the place. Got them when they were doing their little jump. Huh. Back off! Back off! Oh god! Oh god! Okay. Christ! Gordon Freeman. PhD. He's also an exterminator, apparently. Is there a big sucker? Yeah, just, in you know, just something he uh, did work, working his way through college, university, that sort of stuff. Had to pay the bit, pay, pay that tuition somehow. I was going to say, being an exterminator would pay the bills alright, wouldn't it? Just die. Oh my god, there's more. Fuck you, thing! Not good! Did I kill them all? Is there one more? There's always more. Maybe not in this room, but... I thought there were two in here before. Okay. We're good. We're good, I think. Okay, a little bit of health. There's something up here. Ah! Where is that trying to take me? Up here? 
Oh yeah, a little bit of ammo. Health there, actually. I'll take that. Yoink, get away from these weird things. Yeah, I'm Oof. not remembering where what what's happening next, so. I think I have to go down through here. Damn you creatures. That's right, we actually found like one of these bugs we could pick up or something. Like some yeah, point. you can, you and can only, pick up. Yeah, only for us to like let it go towards, like we released it as a weapon, but then it just turned around and attacked us, so yeah, that was fun. It literally just attacked us, so I don't even see the point, honestly. If anyone out there knows how you use them as a weapon, please tell us because, yeah. Oh, shit. Okay, that's all good. I, I hit save and then load. Because I couldn't figure it out, and... What? Did I hit the thing? No, no, I think that the head crab is designed to always um, trigger it when you come down. Because it happened last time as well, when we played. Oh god! That wow, has... okay. What? Oh, did you... Oh, did you actually throw something? Yeah, yeah, I threw it real quick. Yeah. Alright. Okay, oh yeah, I remember this. Didn't remember that apparently. Good thing the signs there saying west. Yeah. I'm pretty sure we've got to. Let's. We're gonna head through here. All right. Swimming in some blue-colored water. It's a bit different. It's nice. Yeah, we usually be swimming around in sewage, so. This is a bit of a bit of a move up for old Freeman. Mm -hmm. Rinse off all the waste we've gone I mean, through so far. Technically, I think we we did swim through some water uh, before, but we were being shot up by a helicopter, so it wasn't quite as good. Ow! I like the design. The idea of designing these creatures was like, okay, we can't just have it attack him and be really annoying. Make it some creepy sound too. Yeah. So when people hear it, they're like, ah, oh, where is it? Die. Oh, my God. Did we... Did, did you use, like, a grenade last time or something? I can't even remember. All I know is I hate these things with a passion. Yeah, that's so annoying. There we go. It's dead, which means I'm going to hit save. <laughs> okay. So, I think yeah, we need to do this. Nope. Oh, no. The attack shrimp. Uh, get right. out of the way, attack shrimp. Attack shrimp. One of ah. Blacksmith Mace's more deadly weapons they've designed, but... I just got, like, my head fried by now some they've steam. Escaped. Oh. Oh my god! Okay, what the I hell just happened there? I'm, I, I, oh, are you drowning? Is that what happened? Maybe, maybe. You only got, you only, I mean, though you only have eleven health, so yeah, uh, no, they, no, they're just, no. they're just killing you. I, I don't think they are. You. I think there's like hot steam above me, and if I if I surface, it messes me up. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, well, you're on one health now, so. Okay. No, actually, they are. I didn't they're think they did that much health. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. All right. Get my. Can you throw this underwater? Oh, you can. Die, attack shrimp! Oh my god, they're what? the ultimate weapon. They're immune to explosions. <laughs> Impervious. <laughs> All right, they're, they're, they're dead. Maybe. Oh. Oh my god. Okay, no, the steam definitely did mess. Yeah, I think I, 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 I agree that the steam does hurt you because when you did when you came up before at one point you had the little fire symbol next to your health when you were dying but uh but those attacks you, you have hurt. both attack shrimp and steam to deal with 
All right, keep doing. We can do it. We can do it. Yes. Leave me alone, texture. Leave me alone. Uh, yeah. There's a gun here. Oh, and a dude. One bullet. I just like the idea that like your Freeman's just going around with like a multitude of weapons just like strapped to his back. I don't like they hear you coming, just like, <laughs> like yeah. all these guns. How has he carried them all? I believe the oh! suit increases his strength by 1.23%. I think, <laughs> no, I think okay. that man's oh. leg just hit me in the head. Oh. And did damage. Well, you went from 11 to 10, so it's possible. A limb hit me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, that's pretty grotesque, I'll be honest. Let's creep on through. Thank you. Lots of explosives. Always good a thing good that, sign. Good thing that all those explosives stayed intact when you blew the room up. It is. It's because they're in their handy dandy little containers that are uh, left open. All, all, yeah. No, no, no. Actually, I'm pretty sure they were all closed, but the explosion just knocked the lids off for you. That's how powerful they yeah. are. Yep. Okay. What's up here? Oh god, that's right. Oh wait, that's right. There's a yeah. Okay, tank time. Oh, oh no no no! Grenade! Grenade! grenade. grenade. That would be impressive if they had managed to get that grenade in the hole we just came out of. Just get it from me. Got there him. Go. Ooh, health, finally. Oh! <laughs> we always died as well. It's all right. There's health right there. I know, I know, past. but I need to... And just yeah. get past this. Rockets for everyone! Okay, there we go, there we go. Oh, thank God. Directly into my bloodstream. I don't. What is that? Is this just like a an opiate injector stuck to a wall? Yeah, it's like, like what a is going needle on? just jabs you in the hand or, or the arm or something. Just like here's some heroin. Oh, heal, healing juice. They really need like some elevator music. <laughs> oh, well, at least I have the Bing. That's nice. I know, it's a nice right. little touch, you know? Okay, well, we don't have any suit protection at the moment, so... Let's try not to step in anything, I guess. Okay, that wasn't necessary. I don't know. Nope. Nope. Part of me thought I might... You just violated Tim's body. That was all you did. I really like Tim anyway. Radio. I got the thing. I got the thing. For suit protection. Yeah, we got uh, 15. Hey, nice. man, it helps. It helps. Just it absorbs this much yep. better than yep. your health does. Because you're down to 13. I shoot in the ass. No, sir, you die. Okay, okay. Also, I'm pretty sure anything. these guys are meant to have pulled out by now, surely. Like, I guess these are the stragglers. Because that's it. They were saying, like, screw Freeman. Yeah. He is absolutely messing us up. I mean, we were talking about it, you know. It's like at a certain point, you should just cut your losses and just flee, you know? Yep. One guy is not worth how many we've killed. And, uh, yeah, seems like they got the point. Stop throwing bugs at me! Uh-oh. Yes. Let us use whatever this thing is. Still not quite sure what it is. But it, uh, it, it shoots lasers. It's always fun. I think we need to do this. So I'm pretty sure we can use the tanks. Yeah. That's right. You do that and then you do. Or do you just keep booming? Yeah, I I'm not remember. sure. Like, do we, uh, I mean, either way. How do you feel like the shot misses or something? Hmm. 
Excuse me. Can you step to the right just a little bit? Thank you. Sorry, sorry. I can't quite see you. Could you just show yourself a little bit more? Ah, thank you there. Say <laughs> cheese. Watermelon. And that's why he got shot. Because <laughs> he used watermelon instead of cheese. Yep. Oh, you be Never a funny cheese guy, hey? when you should be watermeloning. All right, be careful of this one because I'm pretty sure there's yeah. like a barricade on the other side. No, there's a nasty turret. There it is. Oh, Did you? It's made. No. It's made worse if you do that. Yep. Damn it! Okay, I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get this. I'm not really sure whose turret that's meant to be, to be honest, because it doesn't look like. I think it's there, like the, the aliens. Yeah, but like. It looks really different compared to all the other aliens we've seen, I guess. Because like even that, like the sh drop ship they got drop they drop off in, like it also looks sort of alien, like a alien creature. Okay, well that does nothing, but I've also realised yeah, that the turret's doing jackal as well. Oh, oh well, there's one there. Go away. Okay, so this gun actually works really well against them, so we'll keep that in mind. Oh, there's two of them! Okay, we got it in the end. Good thing that turret, you know, couldn't aim. I know, it's terrible turrets. It's just made of, like, corrugated iron or something. Yeah. They're only just figuring out how to use actual metal. They're like, oh, let's do this work. <laughs> Yeah, it's just like a really small alien in there with a gun. <laughs> and yes, should we use more of our fungal stuff? No, no, we will use all the metal. And we're moving, I guess. Going go. down, maybe. There yes. we go. Because it gives you ample time. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'd love to like push the truck onto 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 a bunch of enemies or something. They're waiting down there, you're just like, huh? That would be pretty cool. Oh, you were dead. You thought wrong. Okay. Wouldn't it be funny though if it, like all the head crabs were actually the leaders? That they just try yeah. to, they're like parasite things that they they need a, a host. So they're actually like the leader in terms of Like the Gaud. Yeah. The Stargate, yeah. you know, like. They're it's trying, actually yeah, the little attached parasite. To you, yeah. Attached to you and then they become like the intelligent creatures that control everything. But, yeah. But uh, we've just been going around like, killing them because they're all at this stage really easy to kill. <laughs> That's it. That was always something in Stargate, you know, like, because you see them at first and they see, like, these big, like, powerful people, you know? Yeah. And it turns out, nah, that's no, just some little parasite stuck yeah, in the fucker. There's, you know? there's this parasite right? thing that, yeah, that's just the takes powerful over the thing. creature. Incubate them in their Jaffa. Jaffa. Mm -hmm. Jaffa Kree. <laughs> oh, no, it's the gimps. Uh, they're apparently floating the idea about um, doing another uh, a reboot of Stargate. I say reboot, I think like like remake as such. They weren't going to like redo the. I don't think they were going to redo the Stargate. <gasps> but uh, I'd love to see it because I'd love to Stargate. Oh! Well, I mean, yeah, like the the show itself is like, well, not really, but it's kind of like a, a reboot because it was a movie first with like Kevin Bacon. Yeah. And, yeah, then, yeah, a... and then they did the show with uh, mm -hmm. MacGyver. Mm -hmm. Richard Dean Anderson. Oh, that dealt yep. with you, didn't it? And uh, then they did, obviously did Stargate Atlantis as well. Uh, yeah, cool. I never really watched Atlantis, to be honest. Yeah, yeah I, I ended up going back and like, just like uh, back in there where you could rent uh, DVDs and that, two years back. Uh, I uh, rented the whole series and just like binged it. Um, a few years back, like a decade ago. <laughs> no, only a few years back. <laughs> no, I'm really joking. <laughs> I think there's uh, still some places that do it. Possibly. 
Um, so yeah, the, I, I always enjoyed it. I mean, yes, there is... Because uh, <laughs> it, it was it did start in, I think, the early noughties or late n- yeah, 90s or yeah, something. Yeah, it did, so yeah. There is a lot of like stuff that doesn't that does clash a little bit or um, is not historically correct and that for being like a show based on like history sort of thing. But it's still just fun and you sort of forgive it because that was like the time period and like everyone was doing it. And they yeah. do make they they do poke at fun at themselves as well. So I mean it is a sci fi and they're obviously gonna get some things wrong, but on the same token, mm. you know, it revolved around some Reimagining a history, i.e., that the pyramids are landing yeah. pads for spacecraft. Yeah, just took, and, yeah, took like, conspiracy theories and went, yeah, what if they were true? <laughs> I know, that's like some shit that you find on like the History Channel at 11 pm these days. Yeah. You know, it's like, it's landing pad. Like that guy, you know, in the meme with like the frizzy hair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Aliens. <laughs> that's what Daniel okay. Jackson. Uh, the character yeah. Daniel Jackson would have been if uh, if if <laughs> he didn't have the Stargate program. <laughs> that's it. I mean, I actually <laughs> the show probably would have been way funnier if that's how the character was. Look, <laughs> yeah. man, I'm just saying. Every now and again, you need to ease up and just hit the blunt, dude. Like on this beautiful alien planet. <laughs> Rather than it being about him being like this intellect, oh, intellectual God. snob. I know, that scared the shit out of me. Oh, God! Oh, one this there too. Intellectual snob, you know. What, what what I love about his character, though, what I absolutely love about his character is like he starts off with like being this guy that has allergies and, you know, he he tries not to use a gun and, you know, he, he, he's all scientific and that. And by the end of the show, like, he's just this buff dude that, you know, killing <laughs> creatures and, <laughs> you know, all this sort of stuff. And it's like... Yeah, well, right, they it's, lead oh, into it's that. It's awesome. They yeah, lead into awesome. That, that. Once again, that Indiana Jones, Lara Croft kind of yeah. thing, you know, the the intellect with, you know, combat skills kind of thing. But, you know, it kind of starts he, off where he's like, he's like, no, we must speak to them and realise what's going on, blah, 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 this and that. Wait, they stole my girl? Give me a fucking gun. <laughs> you know, yeah, it's yeah. like... Uh, but you know the whole series is uh, like his character because his his character is actually the one that um, uh, actually spends the most time away from Earth, like yeah. it th- not just in the movie but throughout the series as well. Obviously, I drew the short one. My colleagues are waiting at the tip of the Lambda reactor, waiting for you. I mean. The reactor is shut down right now, but you can activate it on your way up. You'll have to flood the core anyway to get into the teleportation labs. You're not authorized to know about those. But I can see you already know a great deal more than any one man is supposed to. Okay. At this point, Thank dude, you. like, I'm just annoyed that it's still taking us so long. Is there just not one direct path? <laughs> well, I mean, at the end of the day as well, who cares about authority right now? Your boss sent in soldiers to murder you. No. So fuck who has authority for what? Turn on the eye thing, fella. That's what you're here for. But yeah, in Stargate, obviously, he he lives off planet for quite a while um, between the movie and the show. Um, so he spends a lot of time. But then obviously during the course of the show, there's all the things that happen to his character. And I mean, mm. some of that is to do with the fact that the actor wanted to go off and do other things and et cetera. So they had to sort of write him out in a way. Um, so you end up with a few things like that. But yeah, his character is like, becomes like quite a quite a big part of the series, even when absent, mm. when he ascends. Mm-hmm. But um, I think that's probably a pretty good place to leave this episode. I yes. think we might have left it here. I don't recall going further than this, so oh, I don't. I'm not sure. But what I do know is that this is where we're leaving it now. Exactly. Uh, and uh, you know, if, if you've enjoyed our discussions and what gameplay we managed to provide, then how about liking the video? Maybe even subscribing. I know what a thought. That was a bit but- insulting <laughs> to me. <laughs> I'm the one playing. <laughs> gameplay we may have provided. Uh, <laughs> like, jeez. Hey, man. We forgot to record those last episodes, so it's good just to be <laughs> blank for them.
<laughs> just no, listening to us. I'm staring at OBS yeah, on my other screen. Just, it's welcome land. to the podcast. <laughs> I swear to God, if it, for some reason it comes out black again, then then I hope you enjoyed the black screen. Thank you. Yeah. Like and subscribe. I hope, I hope you enjoyed just like three images we just recycled. <laughs> <laughs> We'll just but get some anyway. army men and play out a, like, yeah. on a camcorder and just <laughs> yeah. s- splice that in instead. Pew pew! <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, uh, yeah. Anyway, I hope everyone enjoyed it or at least found it somewhat entertaining. Uh, and then next time, I suppose, we'll uh, find out what's up that elevator. Uh, what's on that next level? Six Where feet above. We will go. Next time. Oh, thank you for joining us. And that is to be continued. Yep. It is indeed. Bye bye. Catch you in the next episode.